Today we're going to start building our staff inspired by the Chitauri Scepter. It's featured in the Avengers, also known as Loki's staff, because that's the one he uses. It has the mind stone in it. It's how he controls people's minds. And we're going to have these very long tubes that formerly held light bulbs. <laughs> and we're using those for our staff. They're about four feet long. And you should have a design planned out on a piece of paper. And please remember, designs can change as we are working. So you're all going to start out with some cardboard and you get more as needed. But we're trying to make use of the piece that you start with. Try not to waste too much. So I'm looking at my design and comparing the design to the size of the tube that I have in front of me and trying to figure out how big things need to be. So for example, I want to start with the biggest things on here, which would be these fake blades I have at the end. So my fake blades, they're, I want them to be symmetrical. I want them to be the same. So I'm going to draw one of them and compare to this for size, see how big I need it to be. And don't worry if you have little lines that get in the wrong spot because all this is going to get painted eventually. And this end will have to bring around. That has to go against the staff. Now I'm not just going to try to copy this and hope that it looks the same. Since I want these to be symmetrical, now that this is drawn, I'm going to cut it out. I'll cut. And I'm going to take this same shape and flip it over and trace it. And then that piece will get cut later. So I will have identical pieces and this edge is flat, that way it's easy to glue to my tube here. Then I have lots of other smaller pieces on here, like little spikes to stick up. So I can use the same process. If I want all of them to be identical, I have to start with a flat line that touches, that'll touch my tube. And then draw the object and I can cut it and trace it as many times as I need that piece. I now have most of my parts cut, so these are the little spikes to stick out on the staff. These are going to help hold the mine stone at the top. I have my two blades cut over here. For the bottom part of my staff, the design is a little more complicated. Something that needs to wrap around the tube. So I picked a piece of cardboard that's a little more flexible. It's just an old file folder. Just wrapping it around my tube so I can plan where the object needs to go. So I've got half of it drawn and I'm cutting the lines over here. I'll figure out the other side in a minute. Okay, now that that is cut, lay it back on and we play the copycat game. Trace it to the best of my ability, and then cut on those lines. So now I have an object that's pretty well symmetrical and ready for gluing. Once you're done cutting parts, then you head over to the hot glue station. This is a hot glue gun. I have them in different sizes. Never touch the tip. Glue goes in the back. Whenever you're done, it needs to be standing. Also, don't touch the glue right after it comes out because it's hot. So for this piece, for example, I'm going to put glue down the center because that's the part I know will be touching my staff. And press firmly to make sure it's going to stay on. And we wrap this around. And I'm only putting glue where I know the cardboard will touch. Press it together, so now bottom is on. As for my little thorns, I'm going to put glue on the end and stick it to my staff. And if I think it needs a little more support, I can put glue on either side of it. 
to help things stay nice and straight instead of bending over. Or my pieces at the top that are going to hold my fake infinity stone. I have to think a little bit because these are flat and this is curved. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on here. Set my piece down and then I'm pressing and I'm making sure to not stick my fingers in the glue because it's hot. So I have to make sure that this cardboard tries to curve with the object. I can also bend the cardboard in a little bit so I want it to hold the model magic piece.